guys, it's Sarah, and welcome to Tip and Trick Tuesday. This Tip and Chick Trick Tuesday is going to be a little tasty treat that I made this weekend that I wanted to share with you guys. Um, and it included quite a bit of fiber, so I wanted to share it with you because I thought it was a great recipe. And a little sweetie, sweet, sweet. So I got this recipe out of Get Cooking, 150 Simple Recipes to Get You Started in the Kitchen by Molly Katzen. And here's the recipe, chocolate peanut butter crunchy thingies. And when I saw those, I was like, yum. But basically, I was not looking for this recipe. This is also a vegan recipe. But my husband had accidentally opened the Fiber One cereal, which I don't use, but I had bought it to make some Hungry Girl recipes with. I'm not sure which Fiber One, this is, don't have the box anymore. I don't know how to open it. But it's the kind that looks like this. It almost looks those little chow mein noodles. Um, anyways, by themselves are just okay, but the Hunger Girl has several recipes where she grinds these up and uses them as like coatings on top of like chicken or for fake onion rings, um, different things. So anyways, let me tell you what's in this recipe and I'm going to give you the stats and I'm going to show you what they look like. In this recipe is one cup of smooth peanut butter. I used Jiffy Whips. Uh, the Jiffy Whips is for two tablespoons, 140 calories. That's quite a bit lower than your regular peanut butter. So, and it's five grams of protein. I like it, um, and it melted really easily. Two thirds cup of semi-sweet chocolate chips, and two cups of a crispy cereal. And they suggested Go Lean Crunch. Um, I didn't have that, I used the fiber one. So, what you do is you heat your cup of peanut butter over the stove in the skillet and you let it melt. And when it gets melty, you drop in your uh, semi sweet chocolate chips. And, like for two tablespoons, guys, of chocolate chips, it's no, one tablespoon, it's 70 calories. And then, um, after you, you don't have to let the chocolate chips completely melt, but get them pretty melty. And then you start dropping in your two cups of cereal. Now, let me give you the stats on these, okay? It's 117. Now, this made about 14 cookies for me. So, they're a pretty good size. I'm just going to show you in a second. Three grams of protein, three grams of sugars, five fibers, 13 carbs. So, if you do that whole get rid of the fiber to carb, net calories, you can figure that out. I think that ends up being like eight total carbs. Um, and 117 calories. They are really yummy. But the biggest reason I want to share these with you today, because I know it's not the most awesome stats in the world, but they are tasty. Look, this is a really good size cookie. And they fill you up, let me tell you. Um, look, they're fun and they are delicious. But the, mm, they smell really good too. But the biggest thing is, they got my bowels to moo bin. We kept my new niece last night. She spent the night with us. And uh, this morning, first thing, she had to go poop. And then I had to go poop. And then my husband had to go poop. And she didn't eat these. But Ed and I did. And so I joked. I was like, uh-oh, everybody needs to be eating these five or one treats. So even though this is not the exact recipe that's in this magazine called Chocolate Peanut Butter Crunchy Thingies, I'm calling these my five or one chocolate crunches because they are crunchy treats. I don't know. Um, they are really good. So if you're having, if you can tolerate a little sugar, about three grams of sugar, you need to try these because they are delicious. And that fiber will get you to moving. Okay, guys. We'll see you later. Bye.